Morning, so uh, today we are finishing some of the prep on the cladding because we're going to paint the walls. So yesterday I went through and filmed all of the screw holes and just countersunk any which weren't sunk enough. Uh, and now we need to sand it. Tick-tock, six o'clock, there's that old alarm again Stand up, I shut, wishing I was sleeping in Don't know how I do it, but somehow I do it every day Just the same Get dressed, still a mess, shuffle through the same routine White tee, blue jeans, looking at me beckoning Get myself together, come whatever, just like yesterday And every other day so yesterday I sanded down both walls with 120 and then 240 grit and then also did the same to the ceiling. So she's super smooth. Uh, sad thing is there is dust everywhere, like really thick dust. Like flipping nightmare. That's why I was wearing that funky looking mask. So today I need to finish off the sanding on the door. That's 100 grit at the moment and then I need to do all these bits. Get that down to 240. And then somehow source some not sealant. Because at the moment the delivery time frame is 21 days. Ah. Nice, okay, so the roof has got its first coat of Danish oil on and I've managed to source some primer, which is pretty sweet. I uh, had lots of conversations with Nick Lord about what uh, painting products I should uh, be using. It's been a steep learning learning curve, it's a flipping minefield. You've got your oil base, your different primers, your knot sealers, different things aren't compatible with other things. Then you run out of white spirits and you can't clean your brushes and then should you be wa using water soluble? Ah, oh, it's for mayhem. But uh, we're at the stage here where all of the knots are sealed, all the screw holes are fill filled. So I'm going to use a water-based primer and then use a vinyl mat uh, emulsion to cover the walls. It'll be easier clean up and if done well, I'm pretty sure it'll be durable enough. So, better crack on. Oh, new purchase. Possibly the softest brush I've ever come across in my life. It's a shame to dip it in paint, to be honest. But... I've been told by the artiste that you need a good brush. Upside down with a smile. Bus stop, nose pop, everybody's getting in. Left, right, squeeze tight. Here's a nine to five again. Just another day, but today I'm gonna make a change. Break the chain. Made my mind up, this is something special. Take the ordinary, gonna make it monumental Life is what you make it, making lemons into lemonade Ain't it great? As I rush by the window catches my eye And just guess who's smiling back at me Such a day Alright, morning, so got up nice and early, 
sanded down um, the first coat of primer because I'm told when you use water based primers the wood can swell slightly and just to make it nice and smooth so when we put the next layer on um, it's really uniform so hopefully we'll get that good finish filled in a couple of extra holes with some uh, deeper filler to try and get that all sorted and now I'm moving on to put a third coat of Danish oil on the ceiling and this one I'm going to put on and use uh, 600 grit wet and dry just to try and get a bit of a sheen and yeah we'll see how it looks after that if it looks good I'll stop there if not I might just get one more coat and see how we go but we're getting there it's definitely a lot longer and laborious than I could have imagined so I flipping hate painting and sanding but hopefully it's worth it in the end Challenging conditions today. The rain's coming down, but we have a final coat of paint to do. Walls are looking pretty good to be fair, so I'm thinking one more paint uh, coat and we should be good to go. 